Everything. Tay really slayed my hair, y'all. Like, oh, baby, look. Oh my God, I look good. I'm just doing what because I got money. 2020, I'm dropping music. I promise. DM me, cause I should, I'm coming back out there soon. Y'all, now let me tell y'all something. I really like, okay. I really, um, I really do like Baton Rouge. Like, I like the, like the, like the people from there, like the culture. Like, I don't know, y'all got y'all, like, they got like their own thing going on out there. Like, far as like dancing and music, like, I don't know, like. And then, like, what was I going to say? Like, okay, so, like, I like places that have, I like places that have culture. Like, where I'm from, I don't even want to say where I'm from. But where I'm from, it's, like, it's no culture. But places like Baton Rouge, like, Houston, where else? Atlanta, well, I guess you could say Atlanta. But, like, places like that, like, St. Louis and stuff, I feel like they got culture. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But where I'm from, it ain't a culture at all. So, like, I mean, we could just say, like, no, I'm going to say, I'm not going to say Louisiana, period, because I haven't been everywhere in Louisiana. I'm just speaking off of where I've been, and I've been to Baton Rouge, and I just like it. Like, I just like the people there, the vibe, all that culture. Food. Now, the food, y'all don't, y'all ain't got me on the food. The food there is nasty. They supposed to. <laughs> Baton Rouge is supposed to have the best food in the food. There is not it. I'm not going to say where I'm from because I feel like... I don't like telling people where I'm from because I feel like where I'm from is such a weird place to be from. When people like, when I tell people where I'm from, they're like, what? And they think like, they think of it differently, so... The food in New Orleans is nasty, too. Okay, so let me tell y'all. My first time going to New Orleans was... I forgot what year that was. The year that they had um, All-Star. I don't remember what year that was. I went with my dad. And I was super... Um, I went with my dad and we were going to All-Star. And I was super excited to go because I heard, like, you know, they're supposed to have the best food out there. Man, we went to eat. And I was so disappointed. My dad was disappointed, too. He was like, man, the food out here is horrible. It's terrible. I was like, yeah, I don't like food out here. And then when I, like, then a couple years late, like, a couple years later, being older, when I went back, still, like, you know, the food good out. When I went to Baton Rouge, the food out here is good. Do, do, do. Don't like the food in Baton Rouge either. Like, literally, when I'm there, I eat the same thing. Waffle House, Canes, Empire Wings, and what else? Some like um, Sammy's Grill. But, yeah. The places where they had the best food at, Vegas, L.A. Um, Vegas, L.A., Miami, Atlanta, New York. That's where they had the best food at, to me, in my personal opinion. Like, even that's why, even that's why I don't really like, like, I feel like, um... You got to be um, older, like super grown to enjoy like 
traveling the world and going out the country and stuff because I don't really like going out the country because the food is different. Like, the food be different over there. So, it's like, I, sometimes I'll go without eating when I'm out the country because the food over there is very different. Okay, some states I can't say. I can't, um, Vegas, LA, Miami do got good food. So does Atlanta and New York. Them is, those are the top places to me that has good food. But some of the states, I can't say how, um, the food is because, like, I haven't been there long enough to, like, really eat the food. So I've probably been to a state and probably ate something that everywhere else got, and that was it. Well, I've been to Dallas before, but um, I've been to Houston and Dallas, but I haven't been to Dallas long enough to say if the food is good or not there. Houston, what are they? I don't even remember what they got good at. Chicago, I haven't been there since I was younger. And when I did go, I really liked it because I was a little girl. So that they have, they're known, they known for having the biggest American Girl doll store. And then to me, when I was, I think, I guess I was downtown, um, it reminded me of, uh, what is it, like a cleaner New York. That's what Chicago reminded me of when I went when I was younger. I went for um, my dad's press tour. I think it was his, if I'm not mistaken, his Canelo press tour. Oh, D.C. do got good food. D.C. got good food. I forgot. But my fa my favorite thing to eat y'all is soul food. Like I really love soul food, and I like like, but also I like like Hispanic food. Like I like um, I like grill like I like grilled chicken, black beans and white rice. Or I'll eat like um, or I'll eat like salmon. Mashed potatoes and asparagus. Um, I'll eat steak, mashed potatoes and asparagus. But my go-to, um, my go-to for a uh, soul food, um, um, meat-wise, I don't really know, but for my sides, yams, mac and cheese, and greens off tops. If I'm getting soul food. I'm always gonna get them three, but my meat ain't always gonna be the same. Sometimes it be it'll be catfish, or it'll be um chicken. First of all, no, I don't. But you guys, yeah, oatmeal like oatmeal is my favorite thing to eat. I one of my favorite things to eat. I love oatmeal. You have to go live more. Uh -uh. I'm telling y'all about me. I'm getting all personal. Y'all starting to know me. Okay, yes, my favorite color. Catfish is good. I don't even like, um, I don't even like seafood like that. Ugh. Like, I like some, like, I like some things, but no. Like, I never, oh, they did try to get, they try to get, okay, so when I was, you know, crawfish is big in Baton Rouge. They try to get me to try that. I had never tried it before until, like, recently, maybe like a month ago, I tried, like, tried, like, a little piece of it. But isn't um, crawfish and um, shrimp similar? I don't know, because I don't eat it, but I'm just, um. I'm just, uh, I don't know. But what was he saying? Yeah, I don't even, I don't like shrimp like that. But, um, I have to be in the mood to eat shrimp. Like, you know, like when the, um, like I can't eat shrimp if it still has the lining in it. Like it creeps me out, but like, uh -uh, I'm good. And then what was I gonna say? Oh, I like Greek food too. Like skewers. I like 
I like really I like chicken skewers and I like shrimp skewers, cause it's actually good in the shrimp skewers. Well, where I get um Greek Greek food from in Vegas, it don't be having a lot in it. But I get um I get chicken skewers, shrimp skewers, and rice pilaf. And then for the Greek salad, I don't like all that on my salad. Just give me lettuce and cucumbers, and I'm okay. My mom put me on to um, Indian food, but like something I was eating. Oh, hold on, I'll get, I'm not gonna change the subject, but let me be talking. But um, like something I was eating in, uh, in the Indian food, like it was good, but then like whatever I was eating, like I don't know if it was seasoning or what it was, but I bit into it and it's just like, nasty but they have like little bits of it in there so i wouldn't say i'm like i don't know how i feel about indian food but jamaican food i like jamaican food i like jerk chicken i like curry i like pigeon peas and rice they got the best they got the um they got the best jamaican food in miami Y'all, what is there to do today? I'm bored. Okay, so I don't really like oxtails now. I'll eat them, but I don't really care for them. I had, I used to love them when I was younger, though. I'm gonna just talk about food with y'all. I'm not gonna go into it everything because i don't need y'all knowing me like that